welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. No tune-up for Jamal Charlo. Look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Steven Espinosa with Showtime come out and stated that Jamal Charlo is looking for a statement fight next. He's not looking for a tune-up fight. He's looking for a big fight. And I quote, another big signature win, a statement fight. So he's looking for a signature win, a statement fight, a big fight. He doesn't want a tune-up fight next. So let's see if Jamal Charlo is actually true to his words because there's only a few guys he could actually fight that meets that criteria. And, you know, when you first look at it, you see that Caleb Plant is one of those options. I mean, this guy, him and Jamal Charlo have been back and forth. He's even stated that Jamal Charlo is easy work and we can figure it out. So, you know, that's a very big potential fight that these guys can have. Some people feel like, well, I don't know if that'll happen. Caleb Plant's coming off a loss. Jamal Charlo fought Dennis Hogan coming off a loss, and he fought Sergey Devrianchenko who came off of a loss. So he has no problem fighting guys coming off of a loss. Not only that, you know, another potential fight that Jamal Charlo could have is against a guy like Jaime Munguia. Jaime Munguia has been calling this guy out relentless, saying, I want to fight with Jamal Charlo. That's a fight he wants. And Jamal Charlo could put on a, a big, big pay-per-view with Jaime Munguia. That would be absolutely massive. That fight can happen. Not only that, another option for Jamal Charlo is David Benavides. David Benavides has been calling this man out nonstop. And, you know, Jamal Charlo has been ignoring it, making every excuse to look in a different direction. If he wants to make a big fight, a statement fight, a signature win, there's no better opponent to look at than a guy like David Benavides. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.